Hey everybody! I hope everyone's having a great Thursday. It's Thursday evening right now. I've made this video two or three times today and I just decided that I was going to make two videos today and post one of them tomorrow because I just I try to put my vlog and um, uh, my video response to Spooky University's uh, newest topic and I just um, I hate making 10 minute videos, I do, so I'm going to make two good sized videos. Do y'all hear that whistling? Well, let me tell you about it. This past weekend, I went and got me some of that rainbow licorice because Stacy had some of it and I wanted to see what it tasted like. So, I was chomping down on one of them pieces and I come to a hard piece. Well, it wasn't a licorice, it was a tooth. Yeah. Apparently, one of my teeth that had a filling in it had cracked and had decayed up in behind that filling. And um, when I ate that licorice, it pulled the back end of my tooth out. Yeah. Yeah. So Monday... <laughs> So Monday I had to go to the doctor, just a, a regular doctor's appointment. Listen to me whistle. <laughs> that's that's what I'm trying to tell you. But anyway, I had to go to the doctor Monday, and that Monday morning I woke up and I called the dentist, and I was just hoping and praying they'd get me in there in a week or two, you know. Well, she had a cancellation, and she told me, she said, I can get you in at 5 o'clock tonight, because I told her I had a tooth that's broke, and I, I'm scared to death it's going to start hurting. So anyway, I went to the doctor that morning, Monday morning, and come home and got James off to work, and then I headed on in a different direction to go to the dentist. And I got up there, and I was, uh, I told the lady, the nurse, I said, oh, I'm hoping he'll be able to save it well. He told me he couldn't save it. He said, uh, the feeling that's already in there is too close to the nerve, and he said if he started... Uh, getting in there and drilling that he could hit the nerve and he told me it's either between having a five hundred dollar root canal or a having it pulled that was the two choices i had to make but he said well you're already wearing a partial which i am and he said you know what we can just pull that tooth and, and put a replacement right there with it on your partial and i said well that's cool let's do that because you know last january i had a tooth pulled um I think on this side that my partial hooked to really and that was another tooth that I had battled with for 20 years trying to save it and it was like this one it would crack and I'd have it ground out and refilled and it's jaw tooth you know I didn't want to lose it and but anyway it finally I finally did and it was January so what they're going to do is they're going to replace that tooth and they're going to replace this tooth when I go back they're going to pull it one right beside the eye tooth. But the bad thing about it is, is that they made impressions of my tooth, of my mouth, of course, and they had to take my partial with it. So now I'm a snaggle tooth right there. Don't look. <laughs> Don't look too close! Because I'll start talking like this so you can't see it. <laughs> but I got a big hole there. And the bad thing about it is, I may have to wait for a whole month unless they get a cancellation. You know, because he's so busy. And I hope that they have a cancellation. They can get my partial back and I can go up there and have this tooth pulled. And the partial put right up in there, you know. So. <laughs> I'm going to give you an update on Jasper. Of course, he's freezing to death. So what we did was we rigged up the heating pad put a towel on top of it and he sleeps there maybe uh, half the time you know what I mean the other half he's all over me you know <laughs> and he's so needy oh I knew it would be you know a little bit traumatized but he's doing okay but uh, if he's not sleeping with me at night he's on that heating pad and he's on the heating pad right now poor thing he's used that fur coat you know but anywho, that's about all that's happening. James is still working. I think they're going to take him off that Boston job, though. Um, 
That's probably going to happen in a couple of weeks, and I hope he doesn't get laid off then. But they're supposed to restart the evening shift up, so, you know, that sounds pretty good. But besides it raining and being ungodly hot, that's about all I got to tell you today. Now, I'm going to make another video tonight. I'm going to be wearing the same shirt. <laughs> But anyway, that's it for me. This is Melissa reporting from Up in the Holler. Bye, everybody.